Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about how to disable the fire safe safety on CRKT knives. Before I go any further, I just want to say that uh, uh, you will void your warranty on, on your knife. You could uh, incur safety issues. Um, although this worked perfectly for me, and uh, I have had zero issues whatsoever. You very well could uh, damage your knife. Uh, you could uh, do all sorts of, of bad things, uh, including vo voiding your warranty, which I guarantee you will be doing. Um, so for that reason, I do not recommend you doing this. This is just for instructional purposes only, uh, just for educational purposes. Um, but this is how you disable the lock the fire safe lock on CRKT knives. I'm going to demonstrate on the igniter just simply because it's a little bit larger and it's easier to see. However, uh, the big problem knife is usually the delegate just because it's so thin. So the first thing you have to understand is how the this lock works. And uh, basically what it is, it's this button on the on the thumb stud. And if you look at it, what's hap what happens when you push this button is you just move that liner out of the way right there okay now what that is is on the liner there is a little stud a tiny little stud that's built into the liner that that goes straight up on the blade of the knife if you look really carefully right right in here let's see you'll see a right there a little hole, tiny little hole. And that hole, when you close the knife, the stud that's built into the liner goes up into that hole. And that's what locks your, your blade in. So the way to disable this is to get rid of that little stud. You're good to go. Uh, so you can do that uh, a couple of different ways. Um, you can use something like this, a very small file. Uh, this one actually wouldn't be so good because it's uh, triangular. Uh, I would kind of go with something like that where it's nice and flat. This one will take you a little bit of time, but basically what you've got to do is you've got to pull that liner down and inside it'll be really tough to see because I've already removed it in here In here, there's a bit of a stud in there. Probably still be able to see the remnants of it. I actually just removed it. Uh, you don't have to remove it altogether, the stud, which I didn't. You can just kind of round it, and uh, and it'll still it'll still fix the the stickiness problem what I did rather than using the uh, the file is I have this tiny little bit it's a diamond bit for a Dremel and this worked absolutely fantastically um, so you basically you prop open like that your your liner and then on your Dremel say this is on your Dremel is very very carefully take off that little nub that's that's on that liner now when you do that you need to be very very careful that you're not damaging this liner lock you're only removing the material on the the nub itself and when you do that the knife will not lock closed anymore just so you know 
Uh, normally it would lock close and you'd have to depress this button down to flick it open. Now, as you can see, I'm not depressing the button and it comes out no problem. And one of the, the, the other things that I noticed, and this is uh, particularly important to my, uh, uh, my Canadian subscribers, is uh, in Canada it's against the law to have any knife that, that uh, can be opened via centrifugal force or by gravity. And now, after I've removed that lock, I can very easily shake this out. Um, so that's, that's really the only downside that I can see to this, besides the fact that you're voiding your warranty and whatnot. Um, but that's how you fix, fix that lock permanently. Um, just so you know too, there's no way of, of putting it back. So be very, very sure that uh, this is something that you want to do. Uh, for this knife in particular, the Delegate, um, it's, it's still tough to open it with one hand. Uh, just because of the, the narrowness of the knife. Um, but in a nutshell, that's how you re remove the, the fire safe lock on a CRKT knife. Once again, I don't uh, uh, recommend that you actually do that. This is just for instructional purposes. Um, but yeah, all you have to do is uh, get rid of that little... Uh, that little tiny nub on the inside of the liner it's like right up in here do it very very carefully and you're good to go the the knife still functions completely normally the only thing that you don't need to do is push down on the button anymore you can just push straight out and that's how you do it guys uh, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.